Hello everyone and welcome back. Kids school have started in full swing and all I wanted was a full proof plan for Ruthvi's lunch box as I feel that a well planned menu is a stepping stone for an enriching yet delicious lunch box. So I sat down to put together weekly lunch box ideas that are healthy, kid friendly, hopefully and will be approved by Ruthvi as well. Once the framework was confirmed I was really excited to do the groundwork. Mondays are the days when I prepare my mind for the weekly hustle. And an easy lunchbox preparation on Mondays is what fits the mindset well. A prepared idli batter on weekends is always my first pick on the first day of the week. To make things interesting, I decided to make the stuffed idli instead of going with the regular ones. Although plain idlis are equally healthy, but I thought of adding a few more veggies inside the idli to bring in some more nutrients and make the idlis even more fulfilling. If you have seen the last vlog, this cast iron kadai is my latest addition to the kitchen and I am so hooked to it currently. I'll quickly saute all chopped and grated veggies in the kadai and cook them well. Grating the veggies makes it convenient to assemble into the idli batter and grated veggies works best with the picky eaters as well. I deliberately opted for carrots and beetroot as it helps in adding some sweetness into the veggie mix. For spices, I'll just go with salt and pepper and very little red chilli powder and then bring everything together. I'll also grate some ginger and add it into the veggie mix for the additional flavour. And lastly, to bind everything together, I'll add boiled potato and sprinkle a lot of green onion for some added flavour. It's time to grease the idli mould and I'll also clean the slab to keep my workstation clean. While I'm prepping for the idli, the vegetable mix will cool down and I'll create small coin sized patties to slide into the batter for stuffed idli. Unless you're not allergic, it's always a good idea to eat lots of fermented food as they have lactic acid bacteria which helps in good digestion and keeps the gut clean and healthy. That's another reason why dosa batter is my top choice for tiffin boxes. Having a clean gut helps in better digestion making sure that all the nutrients of the served food are well consumed. I'll start with only one batch for Ruthvi as layering may stick the idlis on the top of the plate above, so 4 at a time. 10 minutes and idlis are done. I'll let them cool down completely before taking them off the plate. Tada! Soft and stuffed idlis are ready. Stuffing helps in keeping the idlis juicy for long and will be a bit different from the regular idlis. Just loved how beautiful the color of the stuffing pops out. Starting with the veggies that suits the kid taste bud and gradually adding more would help in better acceptance by the kid. I'll add a little coconut chutney that Ruthvi really likes with the idli and in another compartment, I'll add the trail mix 
that I have made by combining some roasted nuts and chocos. I'll also pack a banana separately in a banana case and here is how the Monday lunch box looked. Tuesday's lunch box is a regular meal, so to call it, but with a twist. I remember mom giving me sabzi roti almost all days in the lunch box. I feel we had lesser tantrums in those days, or maybe we had, but mom stuck to the same idea. I also feel roti sabzi is a great way to keep child filled for long in the school, and also it gets ready without any additional effort. But keeping that for the other meals of the day, I will strike a right balance between my desire of giving her roti sabzi and also fulfilling her wishes to eat something different. And for that, I will make delicious chapati noodles. For chapati noodles, I'll begin by making two chapatis in square shape. Once the chapatis are made, I'll keep them aside to cool down and work on chopping the veggies. I'll cut all veggies in thin slices as they go well with the noodles. For carrots, I'll use the julienne slicer for quick cutting. Chapatis will also cool down, so I'll slice them as well and keep everything ready. And that's literally the end of all the effort because now all that is left is cooking everything in one pot for just 5 to 7 minutes. Once it warms up, I'll start adding veggies one by one and cook them for not more than 3 to 4 minutes as I want the veggies to retain their crunch. Once cooked, I'll add salt, soy sauce, 1 teaspoon tomato ketchup and very little chilli sauce and mix everything well. Lastly, just add the thinly sliced chapatis and mix them with very light hands. For garnishing, I'll use spring onion greens and sesame seeds to complete the noodles. In fruit, I'll give Ruthvi a mix of pear and de-seeded cherries. Seeds can be a choking hazard for small kids, so de-seeding becomes very important. Everything is done and it's assembly time. So here is mom's roti sabzi but with a little kid friendly twist that again tiki eaters will love. Cherries are seasonal and add quite a beautiful contrasting color to the tiffin. Lastly, I'll add this homemade oats and raisin cookie that my baker friend gifted me last week to try. This kind of motivated me as well to try my hands in baking but not sure if I can really make such awesome cookies though. So this is the final look of the Tuesday lunch. Chapati noodles with seasonal fruits and homemade cookies. Wednesday is midweek and it is the time when I feel quite settled into the routine. Since yesterday I gave Ruthvi chapati, I thought of giving her rice today. So I thought today I'll give her rice balls filled with the goodness of whole lot of veggies. I'll use a chopper to pace up my chopping and once everything is chopped nicely and finely, I will saute the chopped veggies in some oil for not more than 3 to 4 minutes. Cooking veggies helps in releasing more nutrients into the food and also softens them for kid to consume better. While vegetables are cooking, I'll make rice powder slurry to bind the rice balls. At the end, I'll add some salt and pepper and take the mixture out to cool down. 
for greens i'll use lots and lots of green onion and coriander leaves you can even choose spinach if you have and of course one teaspoon sesame seeds nuts are very good source of healthy fat so i try to add them into kids diet in proportional quantity in one form or the other now that the mixture is ready i'll add the leftover rice from last night and mix it really well with the veggies then i'll make rice balls but we'll also fill some cheese in the middle because a it has calcium and b cheese just makes everything delicious i'll dip the balls into the rice flour slurry and coat the balls with bread crumbs before toasting them on the paneeram or appe pan I usually avoid deep fried food for kids. Frying leaves no major nutrients behind. So appe plate is a very healthy alternative instead of deep frying things. Just so you know, this is basically an Italian dish called as arancini and the original dish actually is deep fried. You can prepare the rice ball at night and keep them in airtight container to toast in the morning for quick action. While rice balls are getting ready, I'll make a peanut butter and jam sandwich for some sweet and protein filled treat for Rukhvi. I will cut the sandwich into small heart shape with the help of a cutter and to add some cuteness into her tiffin. A little excitement makes her really look forward to her tiffin breaks and I also feel that if in less effort I can give her more then why not? Things are now prepared and it's assembly time. The rice balls came out superb. It's quite a fun take on rice which are soft and cheesy inside and really very delicious. I'll add some ketchup at one side to go with these rice balls and PB&J sandwich on the other side. I'll make an extra section by using the silicon cupcake liners to put some cucumbers that Ruthvi really enjoys. Wednesday tiffin is ready with toasted vegetable rice balls, PB&J mini sandwiches and cucumber. We are now gradually drifting towards the end of the week and on Thursdays a monotony starts hitting me. While of course I would still like to give Ruthvi a healthy delectable meal but something that can be prepared quickly so a quick chapati pizza wrap with few selected vegetable meats all ends to begin with i'll make the chapati for the base of the wrap i had prepared the dough at night to save some time during the mornings i wanted to make the square wrap so i'll cut the edges and give this wrap the square shape i'll nicely toast the chapatis from both ends by pressing the edges with the help of a cloth once toasted i'll smear a good amount of butter as it will keep the chapati soft for long in the tiffin now for the base sauce i'll mix a little tomato sauce and some chili sauce with pizza seasonings and pepper and a quick pizza sauce for kids is ready after spreading the sauce i'll cut the chapati from one side till center and start placing different pizza toppings on different quarters of the chapati I will not overload this wrap as it gets inconvenient for kids to pick and take the bite from the wrap so a little goes a long way here In a way it is again a combination of chapati and sabzi but the idea is to serve it differently with a slight change in look and flavor 
to break that monotony in lunchbox a little creativity gives good result with kids and their meal time becomes very enjoyable of course not always the recipes and ideas are a hit but to know what will work at least we need to try i'll fold the wrap in a way that it will close everything together and there will be very less spillage when ruthvi will eat it although it doesn't quite look like a square shape i'll now toast the wrap again on a grill pan to give it a nice grilled look Today's fruit is papaya so I'll cut them in bite size pieces but I'll also add some seeds on top For the sweet I'll add homemade toasted caramel makhana whose recipe I'll link in the description below Thursday lunch box is packed with the grilled chapati pizza wrap toasted caramel makhana and the seasonal fruit So during the week I took first step towards baking and tried making one instant cookie and here I am sharing a delicious single serve chocolate chip oats cookie for kids side snack So for the cookie I took 1 tablespoon of melted ghee into the ghee I'll add 1 tablespoon jaggery and mix it well to this I'll add 1 tablespoon besan or chickpea flour 1 tablespoon of instant rolled oats and 1/2 tablespoon of whole wheat flour I'll mix all the flours well and add 1 tablespoon cocoa powder 1/4 teaspoon baking powder some cinnamon for flavor and half to 1 teaspoon of milk to bind the cookie dough together I line a microwave safe dish with a parchment paper and place the cookie on top to bake inside the microwave for 1 minute in a small intervals of 30 30 seconds after 1 minute the cookie will be very soft and this is the time when i'll place the chocolate chips on top and leave it for 15 to 20 minutes to cool down the remaining heat will keep baking the cookie from inside So now I'll use these 15-20 minutes to prepare the main lunch which is a high protein paneer pav sandwich. For the sandwich I marinated the paneer at night in the mix of coriander chutney, curd and besan in equal proportion. I'll also cut one tomato and toast everything on the cast iron tawa. Fridays are for fun lunches. and so i really like to create some fun recipes for the tiffin on the last day of the week once buns are toasted in butter i'll also toast the marinated paneer making sure not to overcook it as it will turn paneer very hard and chewy for kids i'll use the same chutney and smear it on one side of the bun generously and on the other bun i'll put the tomato ketchup I'll also toast tomatoes on the same tawa as by doing so they get a bit soft and juicy. Once everything is toasted, I'll start assembling the sandwich. Layering tomato and paneer one by one will give a good height to the sandwich. But to secure this sandwich, I'll wrap it in a parchment paper nice and tight. while also pressing the sandwich and securing it with the help of a tape
and here is the glimpse of the power packed protein rich sandwich which is ready in 15 minutes in fruit goes the mango and this is the coolest way to cut the mango when in rush just run a glass through a slice and the entire pulp comes out intact cut it the way you like and our chocolate chip cookie has also cooled down so now it's time to pack everything inside the lunch box i am super proud of the outcome of this cookie as it has perfect texture which is neither too hard nor too chewy and because it's friday i'll also give ruthvi this flavored yogurt as an additional sweet treat and this is the final look of the friday lunch box well yes ruthvi is one reason but i also really enjoy thinking and creating different lunch box ideas At the end of the weekdays I was really delighted and Ruthvi loved each of the tiffin meals and made my efforts worth it. I hope this video was helpful enough to give you some ideas on creating different and healthy lunch boxes for your kid. Let me know in the comments which recipe you loved the most and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you found this video helpful. Also join me on Instagram for some daily life updates and i'll see you in my next video until next time stay tuned and stay connected can't stop yeah yeah you never lose in all you mean so i've been trying hard